Beautiful Buttons, a memoir of survival and triumph by Catherine Ann. I loved reading this book. Every word of it spoke to me. And it really is a memoir, but it doesn't kind of start at the beginning. And I realize once I get to the end of her story, why it's been written out of order because there's a different order to life than what's chronological. And even though we think it's linear, starting with our birth and ending in our death, a lot happens that takes us all over the map. And there's so many lessons to learn, but for each one of us, there could be a great crucible or a series of crucibles where we really need to learn many lessons or the same lesson over and over and over again, making the same mistakes over and over and over again until we realize what our true and ultimate purpose is. And sometimes some of us might go through a lot more hardship. And I truly believe that the author went through a lot more struggle than the average person. I could relate to a lot of the hardship that she went through. This story is a lot about overcoming adversity and every step of the way, the character is bringing you through her story and you just feel heartbroken and remember your own child self and your own childhood trauma because all of us have really been through something, but she kind of went through everything and she survived and she has a lot to say and to teach you and I think that we have a lot to learn from somebody who has gone through a very hard life and has got all these troubles and somehow managed to figure it out and still build a business. We learn about poverty. We learn about eating disorders. We learn about female empowerment. We learn about violence. We learn about sexuality. We learn about so many things and what it takes to be human, really, at the end of it all. It, and what it means to be human for this author, for me as a reader, when I'm trying to figure out the moral of the story, I think is that we must have enough courage to live and face our truth. We really need to believe that whoever we are, whoever we're supposed to be, is somebody that is deserving and meant to be. And if we don't often give ourselves enough encouragement to get courage, then we'll never maybe get to where we wanna be. And as somebody who also, you know, writes her own stories about her own hardships and the tools of the trade for overcoming adversity, I understand a lot about what Catherine Ann says in Beautiful Buttons, especially when she talks about the metaphor of the buttons. Because like the cliche saying, we wear our heart on our sleeve, a lot of times we don't and we hide what we truly mean. And we don't wanna have people be able to see what's going on underneath. And even if we show our sleeve, like our hearts on it, that's still a disguise, that's still all symbols. None of that is really actual the truth. When you get down to it, when you actually look at things, you realize that the truth is just being. It's just accepting. It's just ultimately knowing that everything is gonna be okay and it's gonna work out and that all of those cliches are real. You just have to trust them the way that you trust yourself. And so Beautiful Buttons kind of gives us a meaning of life, right? That love, especially self-love, is all powerful. And when they say, you know, you gotta love yourself before others can love you, the reason why that's true is because if you don't love yourself, you can't be your fullest, truest, most authentic self. You can't be the person that everybody else will be able to fall in love with because you won't be you. And as Oscar Wilde once said, because everybody else is taken, who else is gonna be the one to fasten up your buttons, right? Everybody has those buttons that they don't want pushed, the buttons that they want loosened. But at the end of the day, we're the only one fastening our own buttons. 
and the beautiful button symbol and metaphor that I love in Catherine Ann's beautiful buttons is we make ourselves. The cliche saying that we could also break ourselves, it's so negative. It brings us down. And the author of this book was already brought down by so many people in her life, so many characters in the book, that we have to remember that it's about rising up, rising against those who want to push us down so that we can still become ourselves and that we will not be bullied. And because we will not be bullied, we are finally going to break the cycle of toxicity. And we learn in Beautiful Buttons that who we are has a lot to do with our own personality and all the things that we were given as an individual person, but also who we are in terms of how we were raised, who our parents are and the place we come from, the way that they raised us. And that whatever we know and the way that we're molded really comes out of the people who are responsible for molding us. And if our parents were toxic because their parents were toxic and there's this cycle of toxicity, it's really hard to break that. And Catherine Ann does that in Beautiful Buttons because she has a breakthrough moment where she starts believing in herself and she realizes that she had the skills for business all along, but it wasn't until later in her life that she finally took control and became a success. So I think it's important to remember that you can never beat yourself up and you really need to give yourself the strength to be yourself. We learn how to be ourselves by becoming connected to our roots, but also by being able to move on and to move past whatever made us so that we can make our own selves. That's why I love Beautiful Buttons, a memoir of survival and triumph by Catherine Ann. She is the Entrepreneur of the Year and the Women of Distinction Awards winner. So you have to read this book. It's so effing good, I have to say. Thank you for watching my blog review video. Check out the other books that I talk about on my channel, some of which I've written myself, as well as by other authors. Thanks so much and get your copy of Beautiful Buttons today.